You don't need special Christmas plates to decorate a holiday table. You can deck the halls with some basic white plates. Take a square napkin and fold it in half and then again into a square. Grab the corner of each individual point and fold it backward on itself toward the top of the opposite napkin corner. As you fold back each point, fold the napkin so each point is slightly lower than the preceding point. Fold the layered points underneath themselves to create horizontal folds on the triangular napkin bundle. Lay a single red and white striped straw vertically on the plate. Place your napkin bundle directly on top of the straw with the bottom of the straw sticking out. Enjoy this festive Christmas table setting for your Christmas Eve or Christmas morning feast. Take three small bells of any type or style. Tie them together with some festive holiday twine and then tie them to a napkin ring. I'm using an evergreen napkin ring, but any kind will work. Grab the center of a square napkin and stuff it through the center of the napkin ring. Add an extra bit of texture and flair by tucking a sprig of faux berries into the napkin ring. Start to layer your table setting, but with a surprise layer, place a folded tea towel on top of your usual placemat. Add your silverware to the sides of the plate and place your beautiful napkin and jingling napkin ring on top of the plate. Incorporate one more layer of surprise by placing a whole piece of fruit on the plate beside the napkin. Your family and guests will feel so special sitting down to this elegant holiday table setting. Take a cutting board or wooden charcuterie board and wrap one side of the board with a piece of plaid holiday ribbon and tape the ends to the back with some painter's tape. Next, fill some small knit stockings with a fork, knife, and spoon. Be sure to fill a stocking for each person you are hosting. Place a stack of white plates, buffet style, on one side of the charcuterie board and arrange the silverware-filled stockings on the other side. Throw some jingle bells or ornaments on top of the first plate and for an extra special touch, tuck a candy cane into each little stocking. Buffet entertaining will be a breeze with this festive charcuterie board serving station. I hope this inspired you to add some holiday flair to basic white plates using simple napkin folding, ribbons, and bells, and your own Christmas creativity. Grab some balloons, satin ribbon, and glue dots at your local dollar store. Measure and cut the ribbon into 36 inch lengths. Blow up a whole bunch of balloons, tie them off, and add satin ribbons to the end. Cut individual glue dots from their tape and press onto the end of each balloon. Cut small pieces of painter's tape. Press the top of the balloon to the tape with the attached glue dot. Hang multiple balloons to create a colorful setting for your next celebration. The next time you are at the grocery store, pick up a tub of whipped topping. Spread the topping on a baking sheet and put it in the freezer for an hour. Take it out of the freezer and cut out your favorite shape with a cookie cutter. Plop it in a mug full of hot chocolate for a tasty and charming hot chocolate topper. Grab some small wood rings and spray paint them black. Take some nutcracker ornaments and remove the ornament string. Add a dot of hot glue to the back of the nutcracker and press the wood ring onto the glue in a horizontal position. Stuff your new nutcracker napkin ring with your favorite napkin and place it front and center on a beautiful holiday table setting. Pick up a roll of cellophane wrap from the dollar store and then gather some rolls of toilet paper. Place a roll of toilet paper in the center of a piece of cellophane wrap. Pull the corners and sides of the wrap around the top of the roll and tie with some fun ribbon. Paint some black eyes and a mouth, an orange carrot nose, and add some touches of white for highlights. Style your new snowman in your bathroom. These charming snowmen will be ready and waiting for your wintertime guests. Christmas elegance from plastic wrap in your kitchen drawer? From clips of greenery in your backyard? And from cranberries in your refrigerator? Absolutely! Take any glass vase or jar container that you have and layer the bottom with a couple of inches of greenery. This could be fresh greenery from your backyard, or this could be greenery cut from a garland or even an old Christmas tree. 
When placing the greens in the glass container, angle the ends of the greenery toward the outside of the glass so you see just greenery and not stems. Next, grab your box of plastic wrap. Pull a couple of long lengths of plastic wrap and start crumpling it into a bunch. There is no real pattern to this, but I did try to shape it into a sort of level disc that fits the opening of my glass vase. Just place it on top of the greenery. The third layer consists of fresh cranberries. Just pile them on top of that plastic wrap layer. And just keep layering in that order. Greenery, plastic wrap, and then cranberries. Depending on the size of your container, you can add as many layers as you want. And now for the best part. Take a pitcher of water and pour over the top of all the layers. As you add water, the plastic wrap is going to expand slightly. Just push down on the top layer and everything will settle into place. The plastic wrap takes on the look of ice with the addition of the water. If you like, you can add a tea light to the top of the layers and surround with additional cranberries. Or another option for the top is to add additional greenery over the top layer of cranberries. You could add both a tea light candle and greenery as long as you use a faux candle. Please do not add a lighted real candle with greenery so nearby. Safety first. This is a perfect holiday display centerpiece for anywhere in your home. And this centerpiece looks amazing in multiples. The more the merrier. Quick, easy, and inexpensive, I hope this project inspired you to create your own icy evergreen cranberry centerpiece. Do you have empty jewelry gift boxes laying around? Grab some wrapping paper with a small print Christmas pattern and start wrapping your empty jewelry gift boxes. Instead of tape, use a cool temperature glue gun to secure the end pieces of wrapping paper. Every gift package needs a bow, so tie a bow or even just a simple knot around each little package with either some narrow Christmas ribbon or some fun red and white holiday twine. Now, take two styrofoam discs available at your local dollar store and spray paint them in a color that coordinates with the gift wrap. You can't go wrong with Christmas red. Once the painted discs are completely dry, stack the discs and use your cool temperature glue gun to glue them together. Take some of your small wrapped boxes and find a general way to lay out the boxes around the perimeter of the painted discs. Continue to stack and glue the wrapped boxes to create additional levels or rows. Just a few dots of glue are all you need for the packages to adhere. For some Christmas flair, take a round Christmas ornament and glue it to the top of your stacked present tree. Christmas trees come in all shapes and sizes, and your new Christmas gift tree is going to look amazing amidst your holiday decor.